Hello, I'm Bill Kudik, HR technology columnist for the last 25 years for the Human Resource Executive magazine. My guest today is Randy Goldberg, who runs talent acquisition for all of Hyatt Hotels in the Americas, North, Central, and South. You've got an entire hemisphere. The whole hemisphere. Many people don't realize that big hotel chains often don't own the properties that they've blazoned their names on and they manage, which in some ways really make them sort of a managed service firm where it's the people who matter the most, not the property. Uh, I understand that you're going to tell us about a new internal program called Hyatt Thinking, which is designed to change processes within HR and within the hotel to something that's more human-centric. So tell us, Randy. Exactly, exactly. So, so Bill, the idea of Hyatt Thinking is really something we are borrowing from the Stanford Design School, which they just refer to as design thinking. And the idea is to really look at things from a very human-centered approach. Now, I know that might sound like crazy talk in the human resource field, right. um, but it's something that you can apply to anything or any type of um, issue, circumstance, or something that you're really just trying to improve. And uh, the process is really pretty simple. Um, it involves talking to people, finding out what is really driving them, something that we call empathy interviews, and getting down to what really matters the most. And once you can figure that out, you can start to put a process or design something that really meets that need and ultimately turns into a better experience. So whether that's a, a guest staying in one of our hotels or one of our own colleagues, right? And making sure that their experience with Hyatt is a very good experience as well. well give me an HR example of that or how sure. HR is applying it. Sure. So uh, a real simple one is uh, onboarding. Let's talk about onboarding for a moment. So that's something I think a lot of HR professionals are always looking at because they want to make sure that that's a, it's a good experience for their new hires. Uh, but if we're pretty honest with each other, at least when I talk to counterparts out there, uh, it's not always the best experience in the world, even if we take out one little piece of it like employee orientation. So employee orientation, at least what I've seen and what Hyatt even used to do before, a lot of it was really designed more for the HR person rather than right. for the person actually trying to experience this, this new company. So if you think about the typical things you'll see in an orientation, so you'll see safety training happens that first day of orientation. Uh, because the HR people want to make sure that that gets completed, right? So it gets completed on day one, it's, it's an actual check mark. Uh, and that includes all the fun types of safety training like in hotels, bloodborne pathogens, right? <laughs> all, these, all these really fun things. So imagine starting your job and that's one of the first things that you end up doing, right? How to deal with blood. How to deal with blood or other bodily fluids. Um, and there's other things too, right? You know, typically employers will go through their employee handbook and that employee handbook includes all the legalese things in there about how you can lose your job, right? If you right. do things wrong on that, on that first day. Um, so so a, better, a better way to do this then is what? A yeah. better way to do that is, and what we did, is we went back and we talked to people that recently started with Hyatt. We talked to people that have been with Hyatt for a long time. And we talked to people from outside the company and basically said, what is it that you really want to experience, right? What, or what do you remember as being a great experience as part of orientation? And what they remembered was colleague interactions. They didn't remember safety. They didn't remember all the things about how they could get fired. They remembered the fact that the general manager came in the room, and when they came in the room, they came in with uh, like a room service cart, right, and brought them a bunch of food, right? right. Right. Uh, they remember touring the hotel and meeting their, their different colleagues. So today, uh, our orientation does not include any of those things. Doesn't include all the paperwork, doesn't include even going through the employee No I-9s. No I-9s. Now, um, obviously you have to get those things done. Eventually, right? right yeah. yeah, but on that first day, it's really all about exposing people to the culture of Hyatt. Right. Uh, and making sure that they're meeting all those people that they're going to be working with. Right. So it's that, it sounds like a very simple thing. It, no, it doesn't it, sound it really simple is. at all. I, I love the idea of the general manager bringing a room service card in to give everybody a cup of coffee or, or, or whatever. I mean, that tells them everything about service, right? And it does. It does. And what we're really trying to show them is that we, we care for them uh, and that we want to serve them as well because ultimately that's what we're asking them to do with our guests also. So if we show that, 
in terms of our own kind of internal atmosphere and culture. Uh, the hope is that they will do the same thing with our guests. Well, Randy, thank you so much. That, that's, uh, yes, a simple, but a really <laughs> great idea, and I hope to see other people doing it. Great, Bill, for coming. Bill, thank you.